Here's my problem with what I keep hearing from big tech critics, uh, that they've grown too big and too powerful as if there's something criminal about being big and powerful. We kind of do a lot of big and powerful here in the United States. But on the other hand, I hear privacy complaints about them, that they're mishandling data. What do the two have to do with each other? Well, I, what it has to do with the fact that attorney generals are tasked with protecting consumers out there. And so what you have heard in the conversation is a number of attorney generals on both sides of the aisle looking to ensure that consumers are ultimately protected. We are very concerned about the amount of data uh, that these companies have collected and the way they're using that data and whether or not consumers actually know how much data they're collecting on them. And so all of those things are kind of going into uh, the soup, if you would, to determine whether or not it's good for the consumer out there. I can tell you that, that instinctively, again, attorney generals on both sides of the aisle have spoken out and are concerned with both of those, type, those companies. Uh, I, I think I get that, but what I don't get, even if you make Google or Facebook smaller, they still have a ton of data, uh, and, and they still could mishandle it. So how is size the issue? Why is that in the conversation versus just having clear standards around privacy and the protection of consumer data? Well, it's not only the protection of the actual data, because, again, there are many companies across the country uh, that hold a tremendous amount of data. Medical companies hold a tremendous amount of very confidential data out there. What we're concerned about is the ability for them to use the data to manipulate the market, whether or not the consumer is getting the best purchase out there. There's become an expectation from citizens across the country that when you put in a search term or you're looking for, say, a pair of shoes, are you getting the best pair of shoes at the best possible price? There's an expectation out there in that virtual marketplace. Those are things that concern us. Attorney General Landry, if the federal government were actively proceeding with legislation to handle this uh, from a, a broader standpoint, would we even be having this conversation right now? You know, that's a good question. The question is whether or not these companies have become too big, whether their, their ability to use their monopolistic position uh, to thwart consumers out there, and whether or not it's good for the economy as a whole. That's a question in legal terms. It's also a question for Congress as, uh, as they debate the issue. But again, there's multiple layers to the problems here. One, as, uh, as you all spoke about earlier, the protection of privacy, of, of data. Then there is the ability of these, uh, these, these platforms to use that data to manipulate the consumer out there. And so I guess what I'm getting at right now, and I, I know you, uh, you know, were, were a congressman before becoming attorney general in Louisiana. What falls under your jurisdiction as an attorney general, and what should be left to the federal government in this debate? Well, again, you know, attorney generals, each individual state has their own, own consumer protection laws as well as antitrust laws. Some of those laws mirror the federal laws. And so what we go out there about and do is look at whether or not companies are unfairly burdening the consumer in, in, in this part. And again, so you take Google, for instance. Again, when you put in a search term and you're looking for a particular pair of shoes, what comes up? Is it what you're really looking for or is it, or is it what Google wants you to see and wants you to purchase? Yeah, Google would argue it's, uh, a lot of it's based on what you've already asked for in the past, I guess. Um, one question on the politics around all of this, you know, what, Ted Cruz uh, retweeted uh, Elizabeth Warren in a sense the other day saying he can't believe it, but this is one area on which I actually agree with Warren. Uh, if, if the issue is so bipartisan in D.C., why hasn't uh, policy moved along faster, or do you think it has? No, that's a good question. I mean, look, we all know how long and hard it is to move policy or to create law in Congress. Uh, again, if they don't act fast enough, I think you'll see attorney generals around the country act. Meaning this year or the next Congress? When, is, uh, when does it start to get too late? Well, look, we, we, you know, we've had a number of discussions, uh, both internally and externally. We had a, a, a roundtable discussion when General Sessions, when then Attorney General Jeff Sessions convened a number of attorney generals to talk about potential antitrust 
issues regarding Google and Facebook. We had a pretty collective meeting there. We've discussed it again. We're going to be back up in D.C. next week testifying before the FTC on these very issues. All right. So, so is the main issue antitrust and market power, or is it uh, abuse or mishandling of data and consumer privacy? I would tell you it's all of the above. What are your thoughts on everything that's playing out here in terms of Google, where the U.S. military and China is concerned? Is this something that states attorney generals like yourself are, are keeping a close eye on as well, given the fact that it could have implications in terms of the industrial base, production lines, and thus jobs? Well, again, I think the fact that we're having that particular discussion and that has come to the surface goes to show you the power that these companies have amassed and the amount of data that they're able to collect and the way they're able to manipulate that particular data.